And in a matter of hours, fans will see some major changes at Charlotte-Mecklenburg School District football games. At least two schools will have modified procedures after recent brawls at athletic events. And Queen City News reporter Casey Jones live tonight from North Mecklenburg High School. Casey, so what will be different at the game tonight? Well, when fans show up here to celebrate senior night at North Mech, they will need more than a ticket to get inside. CMS police will be at these gates behind me checking IDs. And if you're not 21 and up, you will not be allowed in without an adult. It's all part of an effort to reduce violence after several fights at football games across the district. But some community leaders say CMS officials need to do more to tackle this problem. Charlotte Mecklenburg school leaders are working to stop violence at football games. Last week, when North Mech played West Mech, seven kids ages 15 to 17 were arrested and charged after a fight at the game. Now CMS police will be checking IDs at the gate at North Mech, requiring all fans to be at least 21. Minors must be with an adult. An adult can have up to four minors at a time. Greg Jackson, founder of Heal Charlotte, says school officials should take a closer look at who is fighting and why. A lot more oversight on who is coming, um, letting it be a place where the students can live and the students can appreciate each other and not necessarily the whole community right now until we get a little more um, detailed on who's doing what and how a lot of this violence is transpiring. Jackson's organization mentors youth. He spends time at places like Whitewater Middle School with their football team. He hopes other organizations will take a look at how they can guide kids down the right path. It's happening in certain zip codes, and then at certain schools, it's not happening. Maybe we need to look into that. But it does have to be a holistic approach. It has to be the institutions, CMS, community partners, all coming together and making our kids feel safe at a place where they should be able to have freedom and liberty um, to be themselves and to walk into their purposes. At West Charlotte High School, there are also some changes to their game. It's their homecoming tonight, and if you didn't get a ticket in advance, you won't be allowed in. There's also no bags or re-entry allowed at that game. Some of you might be asking, are these changes permanent? CMS officials tell me they will evaluate security procedures on a case-by-case -case basis. Reporting live from Huntersville, Casey Jones, Queen City News.